All right, welcome in, Firehouse Subs. We are live from Camden, South Carolina, rolling through our number three, and we've got a special guest joining us now. On our guest line, is, is it is Miss Amberly Lee. She is the mother of South Carolina, brand new South Carolina commitment, Braden Lee, four-star defensive back from Flowers High School. Uh, Miss Lee, thank you so much for taking the time today. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited to join Yes, ma'am. So um, we saw you on the Instagram live a little bit there at the end on Wednesday uh, when Braden announced his commitment to South Carolina. So, um, you know, being at the position you're in, being his mother, watching him go through this process as a highly recruited guy, we saw the offer list, uh, just teams from all over the country. What has this process been like to witness it from your perspective? And, uh, and what was that moment like on Wednesday when he announced his plans uh, for the future? Um, I, I say uh, it, it's been a whirlwind. There was a moment where, I mean, just it was offer after offer after <laughs> offer. And, and obviously all the programs that he probably had dreamt of offering, um, you know, they, they took notice of him and his talent, and it's something that Braden really, really has worked hard for for quite a while. Um, I was talking to another parent, and we were just sharing. These boys have been in this for so long, many of them since the age of five. And so, you know, they're semi-pro athletes at this point in their um, career. So it was, it was, it was exciting. Um, for me, it was more, I was so anxious because, I was just wondering, wow, how is he going to narrow down his choices? Um, and what are some of the criteria that we're going to have to help him make that decision? And so we sat down as a family and talked about what those um, criteria would be. And that really helped start the process. <laughs> duo, her credit, um, you know, for giving me some insight on what her process was like for Dez. Um, who just recently uh, came on board with the game talks as well. So I have to give her kudos, you know, for helping um, through the, helping us. Yeah. So it was yeah, Miss and, and anxiety-driven, mostly. Amberly, Chris Clark here. Thanks again for joining us. Really appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, Miss Jackie, definitely uh, – Big recruiting asset, I think, for the Gamecock staff. It's almost like they have an extra coach on staff with her. Um, t tell us a little bit about what you saw from Braden during the process. As you said, a lot thrown at you guys as a family, at him as a prospect. I know his, his process started pretty early, so he probably kind of got used to it. But how did you feel like he handled it? What did you see from him that you were proud of as a parent during, along the way? Um, well, I allow Brandon to really own his process. Um, you know, at the end of the day, he's going to have to be at that school of his choice and feel that it, you know, resonated with um, his ability to contribute, um, you know, along other factors. And so I, I really wanted him to have that process and really um, take ownership of it as a young man and um, decide on his own so there was never any uh, persuasion um, you know and I just wanted him to sit in those moments and think through um, his process and his decision but what I saw out of South Carolina the way it made him feel every time he went I mean he just had a big smile on his face like a big kid he enjoyed his visits um, Coach Dickmer, Coach Gray Coach Sterling um, really made us feel like family from the very start. Uh, Brayden had interest in, in South Carolina uh, for quite a few years, actually. So it really just kind of came full circle when we had an opportunity to take visits and um, develop our relationship with the coaching staff. So um, I allowed him to do that, and I kind of had in my heart that that's where he was going to land and – he literally told me the night before, it was like 1030, and we had a conversation, and he said he was ready, and we stayed up, and we talked about it, and we called Coach Gray and Coach Beamer, and they were so excited. So I found out really just a few hours before the world, So, but I'm so proud of him. Process. 
You uh, you took the question right out of my head. I was about to ask you why South Carolina, but you already took us there. So, Miss Lee, uh, what uh, at what point did you kind of – I know you said he told you kind of right before there, the night before, but at what point maybe during the process did you sort of start to see, oh, maybe it's going to be South Carolina? What, was it a while ago or was it here sort of recently as well? It was really a while ago, honestly, I kept wanting to take visits there, um, and he actually eliminated some of some other programs very early on because he couldn't see himself either in that location or that environment, um, and he just didn't want to feel like he was on an island. He never, you know, fully developed relationships with, you know, the recruiters and the process, and I say the consistency with South Carolina is what really helped put them over the edge and um i saw it i want to say oh i think it was the was it the home opener the season opener it was Mm -hmm. a big game i want to say it was against georgia i think we went to the georgia game Mm -hmm. it was a big game and um unfortunately you know the game talk didn't come out on top (laughs) but then that was our first game we got to see um in south carolina and it was just unmatched it was really unmatched. We enjoyed ourselves uh, from start to finish. And, um, you know, I, I saw pretty early on. I really did. And Coach Gray, just kudos to him and his, really his consistency in showing that he genuinely cared about Braden um, and his plan set forth for Braden. So, um, yeah, I would say pretty early on. But, you know, every time I would try to get it out of him, he was – he would say, well, why, why would you say South Carolina? Why do you think that? <laughs> so he was kind of keeping me on my toes, too, but I knew it. <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of seem to have that, uh, I guess, that mother's intuition that, like yeah, you said, that that's where he was going to land. But, you know, Braden had an interesting comment to Chad Simmons of On3, did an uh-huh. interview with him after he committed and said that, well, I think you all went maybe four or five times, right, to South Carolina, yeah. or Braden did, yeah. but yeah. he mentioned that for him, after the very first visit last August, even before that Georgia game you referenced, he said uh-huh. that that was kind of all he needed to see. Did, did you see it then too? Was that did you predict it as far back as August? I think so. Well, actually, I didn't. I'll be honest. There were a couple <laughs> of other programs that um, you know we thought would be in the mix, and so. Um, but the, when he never decided to take unofficials or multiple unofficials, that's when I knew. And, and, and South Carolina kept coming back in the conversation. Um, you know, he he had no desire. Like, Brayden is very uh, – he's committed, and he's very affirmative. And when I would ask about other programs, it was just a shut and dry, closed conversation – and I just kind of left it alone because I knew that wasn't it wasn't in his heart. So and that was like I said, I didn't never want to persuade him e- anyway, and neither did his dad. Um, so like I say, I let him own that process. But when South Carolina kept being uh, a point of reference for him to get back to, uh, I said, yeah, that's gonna be it because he's 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 um, you know he's very he's a committed kid and he's. He's, um, what's the other word I want to look for? He's committed, he's dedicated, um, and he's all in. You know, once he has his mind made up, that's kind of what it is. So I just kind of left it alone, and I let the, the relationship development at that point really um, take off the way that I knew that it would, and it did, and it paid off. If you're just joining us, we are joined right now by Miss Amberly Lee. She is the mother of Braden Lee, uh, who committed to South Carolina on Wednesday. Uh, you just mentioned relationships, and you know we've been talking about the relationships with the coaches. But I noticed all ten of the kids that are committed to South Carolina for this 2024 class. Um, they weren't all committed at the time, but they were all at the spring game this past Saturday. Um, you know, a- as a mother, how much does it? give you a little bit of uh, just extra comfort to know that um, he started to build those relationships with his future teammates. And then obviously having Dez there, Mike Williams committing as well on Wednesday, 
just mm. uh, just knowing, you know, he's going to have friends and, and guys that will look out for him at South Carolina as well. Oh, that makes me feel even better um, because he had his own interest even before, you know, the friends and things came along. Bray had a, an interest in South Carolina just off of the reputation and the program and the relationship he developed with the coaches. So I think the fact that his friends had that same, you know, feel and, um, you know, everyone started to kind of formulate that same opinion. And now, you know, we're to the point where we have commitments from them as well that really just only solidify his decision even further. And um, he just, oh, my gosh, he talked about the visit on his, when he came back and how how much fun he had. And, you know, we knew. Brace talked to so many coaches. So there's a difference between, um, you know, recruit talk and genuine. And we – he was able to differentiate and distinguish that pretty early on, and I think that also helped with his decision to eliminate some other programs because, you know, we kind of felt, you know, well, this is kind of like the standard script, I guess, that they all give. And I think South Carolina really took the time to go beyond and go past that, one, verbally, but also showed it as well. And so it's just it was the perfect – combination of everything that I think a recruit would look for if they were really looking for a great program. South so. Carolina's doing great work in the DMV region up up near you guys where you live and you know uh-huh. you look at the last class Nicholas Harbor, Tree yeah. Babalade, Zabari Zandi yeah. and now this class with Mike and and your son mm-hmm. Braden. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked earlier about how Miss Jackie Yumi Zulu has put her recruiting hat on since uh, Des, her son, committed. Are are you doing the same? <laughs> and do you uh, do you have any thoughts on Dylan Stewart, the uh, number one prospect in the country? <laughs> but so now Dylan's mom has me and Jackie. That'll be you know uh, definitely, hopefully, some influence as well. I really feel like South Carolina and the work that they've done. Um, you know, you guys have already kind of done the work and the speak for itself. Um, and like you said, to be able to land some of the nation's top recruits, four and five stars, something is going right in South Carolina. And I don't know if it's location. I don't know if it's reputation, um, the staff. Just You know, it could be a number of things. But I know Jackie is going to continue that um, – that passionate recruiting drive that she has and her and I actually talked yesterday and I know that we'll get together and continue to support and rally around South Carolina and the program so that our boys, you know, will have the very best talent around them as well. Well, I think Dylan Stewart is now a South Carolina lock with uh, right. the, the two of you wonderful ladies uh, chatting with his mom. But, uh, Mrs. Lee, hey, we really appreciate you taking the time. Congrats again. I know Wednesday was a very special day, uh, you know, for you, for your family. And uh, Braden, obviously not just a great football player, but uh, appears to be a great kid as well. And uh, talking to you today, you know, we can certainly see why. So uh, we appreciate the time, and uh, hopefully we'll meet you in person sometime down here, okay? Oh, you will. Hopefully in June. So we should be there um, and really just going on and offer. Definitely, definitely. Well, thanks again. Okay, have a good uh, weekend, all right? All right, you too. Thanks.